Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. And we have one day left if you want to join Paint Party Headquarters. So if you've been thinking about it, now is the time to act because you have one more day. We are not opening the doors to the public until May of 2020. And I'm going to be um, showing y'all just kind of how I do a painted prayer. So um, here's an example of one. This was done, um, I guess it's been about a year probably at least, and I was reading a Success Magazine and Gabby Bernstein had an interview in there. And let me open this up real quick and I'll start showing you while I am talking, because y'all know I'm a talker if you know anything about me yet. And as you're going on, I'm just gonna pull up your comments here. So if you have any questions, about Paint Party Headquarters, go ahead and post them. And then if you're new to me, if you'll just say hi, tell me where you're from. And then those of you that are um, you know, in Paint Party Headquarters already, make sure you hashtag PPHQ sister. I would love to know who is on here. And then at the very end, I'm gonna pick one person to um, give some happy mail to you. So I'll actually announce it live at the end of this. So let me find where I'm at. And then I'll kind of watch for your, there we go. Awesome. Okay. It's not a lot of people. Yeah, I know, Shannon. I'm so sorry. I need to stop using my teeth. It is a very bad habit. <laughs> okay. So a painted prayer. And um, basically the way I do my painted prayers is I have a ton of fun. Let me know if you have done a painted prayer yet in the comments. So I know a lot of y'all have. Um, some of y'all are new to it gonna be loud for just a second. I gotta open my paint. One minute. Let's see if it worked. Oh, uh, I really should get these open before I start the live. It would make it way easier. But if you haven't done a painted prayer yet, they are so, so much fun. So it could literally be a song lyric. It could be a, um, a scripture, it could be a quote. It doesn't have to be an actual um, prayer. I just call it a painted prayer and um, because it's something that's gonna be meaningful to you. So I've done everything from, um, dang it, hold on. <laughs> boots and um, country music you know I love that and so I've been wanting to do a whole series of like Cody Jinx he's um, like a red dirt country singer Chris Stapleton I want to do some of their like lyrics with um, the kind of the painted prayer um, technique so you can use this on anything you want sorry I use my teeth again y'all are gonna be so mad at me all right so what I want y'all to do is first off I'm just taking different colors Different shades of blues. Oh, that one needs, ooh, that looks awesome. It's like it has the oil on it. So this looks really cool. Um, and then I'm just kind of taking them and then just gonna start to mix them in. And then I'll be answering your questions. Any of y'all that are unsure about joining Paint Party Headquarters or you just have some follow-up questions, because tomorrow I have a paint party. So I will be actually, teaching a paint party um, around this time tomorrow. So I will try, um, I know some of y'all earlier requested if I would go live during the paint party. So I will try to go live for a few minutes, but when I am at a paint party, I am having some fun. So I really, um, oh, that's a good idea, Kimberly. I really always, um, and I'll tell you what Kimberly said, <laughs> I guess I should share that, um, I love my paint parties, so whenever I'm at a paint party, I will, you know, I'm, I'll try to go live while I'm there to show y'all, um, but guys, I'm all in, and so those of you that are already in paint party headquarters, the way I teach you and how I, um, you know, tell you, you know, how you can do your paint parties and how 
to um, be a part of those, all of that, you'll you'll know why I can't just like be live the whole time during a paint party. Because I am seriously like full all in helping these ladies and um, you know get whatever result they need to get for their paintings and having a lot of fun. So I will try to come live, but I wanted to bring this painted prayers to you because some people have been doing these and they have been getting addicted to them. And they are very addicting because like you see, it is very, very easy. It is nothing major. We are taking just some colors that we love. Um, and the, this one right here, this one's really pretty. Bluegrass green. And all I'm doing is just kind of blending them together. And then in a second, I'm gonna take some stencils. So again, you don't have to be like this major painter to do this. You just gotta have fun while you're doing it. And then I, I like to work big, so the bigger the better. So these giant canvases, I got them on sale at Michael's for 70% off. They usually run the sale a few times a year. And then I have a huge piece of plywood over um, on my kitchen wall over there. And I'm, I'm actually doing another huge like Alice in Wonderland piece of plywood that I'm gonna do outside of my porch. <laughs> Y'all are probably thinking this girl's nuts. But um, I love the quote, the one that talks about and, you know, she thinks of six impossible things before breakfast. Does anybody else do that? Like, I love that quote so much. So, um, me and my daughter, you know, we'll be sitting and, you know, she's eating her waffles or whatever. And we're talking about the craziest stuff. And I always feel like that's us. Like, we're thinking of, like, these impossible things. Like, and it's not even breakfast time yet. So, um, we are going to be, well, I'm going to be making that to go out on the porch. And then, um, eventually, I'm going to paint my porch and have a bunch of designs on it, kind of like my art office does. So once I do that, I'll show y'all. Okay, let me see if I have any questions. Um, okay, for those of you, oh, Kimberly said if you stick a spoon or butter knife under the lid, it will loosen. I might have to go grab one. Um, hi, Sarah, I hope you're feeling better. Um, let's see, hi, Nikki. Oh, we have a paint party headquarters sister, yay. Um, Shannon, shame, shame, Heidi. I know, my mom, she would not be happy with me using my tea. Um, let's see, we have Terry, we have Michelle, we have Sherry, Brenda's here, oh, Aunt B's on here. Um, let's see, I like working big pieces too, love your wall. That's awesome. Anybody, um, anybody else love painting on walls in murals? I have a really cool mural project that I'm about to, to start and um, I am so excited. So basically, when the door's shut and we get everybody settled in Paint Party Headquarters next week, then I'm going to start on that massive mural project and I cannot wait. Um, okay, so let me see if there's any other questions before I just start painting and telling y'all. Okay, and thank y'all for joining, by the way. Okay, so you can see there's just a little bit of a fade. It's not much. It's just a little bit of a fade. And um, what I would like for y'all to do is if you can please put a song that you have, like a request, um, that's inspirational in the comments. So I was talking about this one and why this one's so important to me and why it kind of spun off the whole Painted Prayers um, thing that I did. I actually have the Painted Prayers 5-Day Challenge um, as part of Paint Party Headquarters. So when you join Paint Party Headquarters tonight or tomorrow night, that's it. Then the doors are closed and you're going to get the business planner and you will get the whole 5-Day Challenge Paint Party um, Painted Prayers. So you're gonna get that right away. Um, actually, I lied. You're gonna get that on Friday. Um, and then as far as the, actually no, you get the planner. You get the planner pretty quick. Um, and then the, the other cool thing you're getting is the backstage passes. So a lot of people, I just used to sell those by themselves as like a full course. So that used to be a full course and then I decided that the girls in Paint Party Headquarters really needed to watch those when they first start this Paint Party adventure. So instead of me waiting, I started giving the course immediately. So like when you sign up tonight, you will actually get an email in your inbox and you will have to go hunt it. That's part of the, that's the first part of this Paint Party adventure, going to your spam and hunting for my email. I'm so sorry, but it just does that. Then after you find my email, then you're going to request to join the private Facebook group. And then after you request to join the private Facebook group, um, the very next day you're going to get access to all six modules of the, the backstage pass. 
Now on Friday, we are adding everyone into the private Facebook group. So we've had a lot of frantic newbies. <laughs> we love you so much, but don't worry. You are in good hands. We are pairing you up with a mentor for two weeks that's going to help you know three main things you need to do to get you, you know, situated and so we don't lose anybody while we're getting you all situated because we are, I think the last time I checked, I think we are at like 230 new members. Um, so we're over, oh, well over 600 members and so I think probably by tomorrow night, We'll have well over that. So I just want you to know that you won't get, you know, we're trying to do everything we can. So just give us some grace so that we can get you in there. And the reason we're holding everybody until Friday to put you in the private group is because we don't want you to get in and just have no idea what to do. So there's like an 18 minute video for you to watch. that's going to tell you kind of the first steps and then it's going to bring you through, um, the backstage passes, which you can binge watch those this weekend. And then on Monday, I'm going to do a whole welcoming ceremony at 730 at night and answer tons of questions. Um, okay, so back to this. I keep forgetting. So while this dries for a second, Gabby Bernstein wrote an article for Success. Well, she was interviewed for Success Magazine. I, was, I think I was on a plane or I was on a business trip or something and I, I was reading it on the plane and I just kept coming home and going back to that article. And the reason I kept going back to that article is because they asked her a question. They said, you know, what is something you would tell yourself 10 years before? If you could tell yourself now, you know, looking at it 10 years later. And she had said um, this, relax, it's going to be great. And so I just kept going back to that. And I, I don't know why I couldn't memorize it. It's only a few words. But I just kept going back to that and like circling it in that magazine and I would, you know, like maybe have a bad day and I'd go find that magazine and I'd look at that again. And I thought, man, why don't I just paint this and then put it on my wall? And then, you know, anytime I'm starting to like feel like, oh, this is craziness, you know, I could come over and say, relax, it's going to be great. And it's so funny because two days ago, so, you know, we're in the middle of the doors are open. They open Sunday and they close Thursday. Then we shut them tight until May of 2020 so that we can fully focus on these women in Paint Party Headquarters. Well, I was going over to my fat like my little, um, I have my desk here, and then I have this bookshelf here, and I have like all my little stuff there. And I, I looked, I went to put something in the, in the diffuser, and my daughter had written this quote on one of the note cards for me. And I thought that was so sweet. I was like, oh. and so today when I was taking her to school, I was like, hey, I saw your note. You know, it's so funny because it's almost like we, Sometimes we switch roles, like she tucks us in at night, I know that's weird, but she tucks us in and prays with us and then she goes to bed and then she writes me little notes and I'm like, she's just so good, she's going to be such a good mom, you know, she's like a little mom. Okay, let's see if we have any questions. Um, okay, we got yay mentors, yes. Okay, so we have some suggestions, yay. Okay, so Sherry says, I shall not want. Um, Tessa says, just bought a new house, can't wait to paint my studio walls. It's so fun. Oh, that's what I was saying this morning, in this morning's live, be here right now. That's, if you're wondering what that's about, I talk about three, um, three ways to get over imposter syndrome, and I talk about be here right now. And I'm pointing over there because it's written on my wall that I painted. Um, let's see. Um, hey, Melissa. Hey, Chris. Um, my fave right now is I Raise a Hallelujah. Oh my gosh, I love that song. I Raise a Hallelujah. My voice is going, so. I normally sound like a rock star, but because my voice is bad, that's why. You know, my voice always sucks. <laughs> it's always bad. Um, Shannon says, it is good with my soul. Um, yes, that's me. I'd be frantic. <laughs> I'll be frantic. <laughs> Um, Melissa says, I got in today and I'm waiting now to get in the group. Awesome. Thank you for your patience. Well, at Friday, we're going to be approving everybody. We have everybody kind of sitting in a pod right now. I'm letting this dry, so don't think I'm just ignoring it. Um, let's see. Brendan says, how do you not get any paint on your clothes? All of my jeans have paint on them. Brendan, all of mine do too. <laughs> all of them. Um, I just, you know, wear them with paint on them. I don't mind. Um, Tina says, I have a paint party in two weeks. 
with 16 prepaid ladies. Yay! Prepaid is where it's at. Guys, if you are deciding right now that you're not gonna join Paint Party Headquarters, then you better watch those three videos. They are on my blog. They are going away on Friday morning. Like we take them off of my blog. We take them out of YouTube. Like they're on YouTube right now, they're on my blog, but they will actually be hidden and you won't be able to see them. If you are not sure what I'm talking about, you need to go find out because it's called the Paint Party Revolution Series. And it's three videos that I have filmed for you that I give away completely free and it is insane, okay? The first video is all about supplies. The second video is all about how to book a paint party fast. That's where I've been getting a lot of frantic messages because people are taking my challenge. They're booking these parties and then they're like, oh crap, Heidi, what do I do next? And then the third one is three tips on how to get prepaid painters. So. A paint party business is nothing without prepaid painters. And I will say that all day long. People think that booking a party is the hardest part. It is not. It is not the hardest part. It might be like bravery wise because you're scared. But as far as like getting the bookings, that's not the hardest part. The hardest part is getting the prepaid painters. Now I have many, 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 many tips and tricks that I help you with in paint party headquarters for that. But for people who have like a Facebook event and they have like 20 that say they're interested and I've had a girl one time that literally told me, she's like, I set up for 20 people because Facebook events said 20 people were interested. And I'm like, no, have they paid you? Then nobody's interested. Like unless they paid you, nobody's interested. Um, and so you have to have the prepaid painters. And um, we have one of our paint party headquarters members today who, um, who ended, I think she ended up with a ton. Her name's Lakila. she's awesome. She's always commenting in here. Um, and we had the prayer and gratitude meeting just that, just on Monday. And she's like, can y'all please pray for some prepaid painters? Like I have these events and I just really need some prepaid painters. So we were like specifically praying for that. And then, oh my gosh, she did a post today and it's like paid, 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 paid. I'm like, ah, you know, it's just so exciting. And she didn't give up. You know, she's been at this for a few months. And she's been having some parties that canceled and she was really, really kind of frustrated, but she kept pushing, kept pushing. And now she's like, got all of this going. I'm so excited for her. Um, Delana says, um, I have no clothes that don't have paint somewhere. <laughs> You're with me. Okay, let's see. Um, love that quote. I made a sign for my kids room. Do all the good you can by all the means you can in all the ways you can in all the places you can and in all the places you can, and all the times that you can, as long as you can. Wow, that is really good, by John Wesley. I've never heard that one, Tessa. That's really good. Um, Sherry loves the wall. Oh, thank you. I know we're getting more members added. Um, we have about 100 new names I need to write for this. Um, let's see, Brenda says, well, Aunt B. You'll know her as Aunt B in Paint Party Headquarters. Um, she says, I have a paint party Saturday with 16 painters, one and a half hours away, $55 each, pumpkin palettes. November Saturdays are full, sign up. Brenda, okay, I am so excited about Brenda. When she came to me, she had only painted five paintings. Five. So for those of y'all that are like, I'm new to painting, I really like it, you know, I think I'm kind of good at it. I've been to a couple paint parties and I look around and mine's pretty decent. You're ready, <laughs> okay? And she had only painted five times, but she had a passion for it and love for it. And man, this woman has just really impressed me. And um, looking for quotes, I'm a crier. <laughs> Brendan, I love you. Um, yeah, I'm a crier. Y'all, if you've seen any of my lives, usually I cry during. I've been doing good this week though. I think I'm only like, one lady did a comment that like literally brought tears to my eyes and she called this, she said it was like a, um, kind of like a war room, like a prayer room. Um, and whenever I talked about having the flags, these are all names of new members of Paint Party Headquarters. And um, I kind of want to go back and write everybody else's name too that's already in there because they mean so much to me. But, um, but yeah, that is, so yeah, I've been doing pretty good. I think maybe on all these lives this week, maybe Brendan, Maybe I've cried twice. Maybe? 
I don't know, you've been editing the videos. Brendan is like my right hand in this business. So when you hear me talk about Brendan, um, she is un unreal. She is amazing and she helps so much. Um, or Delana says, <laughs> apparently now I'm the quotes. She says, I'm a talker, y'all. <laughs> You're gonna crack me up. She says, I'm a talker, y'all. Heidi is like, <laughs> this is awesome. Denise says, the love of a family is life's greatest gift. Oh, that's a great one. Or, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so now this is just turned into make fun of Heidi, make fun of Heidi thread. Great, thanks guys. Yeah, we have a lot of fun in Pink Party Headquarters. If you can't tell, now there's a, oh my gosh, y'all, or I just want to say. <laughs> okay, let me find some stencils. While y'all browse through the Heidi quotes of the day, I'm going to find some beautiful stencils to make a painted prayer for y'all. And y'all just go ahead. I want to see, I'm going to reread these later and find out which one's the best. We're going to figure it out. Let me grab a stencil. Y'all are cracking me up. commissions and also another good idea too like if you're the one that um you know like sometimes if we're trying to do something really sentimental for Christmas like you know that person that has everything that really doesn't need like a gift gift because they have they have everything and you just don't know what to buy them and um, find their like favorite song their favorite lyrics and um, I was trying to do this as a surprise for my brother for his 50th but then I I ran out of time and I couldn't get it but I'm Hopefully he's not watching, but I'm going to make him like his um, favorite song lyrics and then that way he can hang it up somewhere. Um, but yeah, so it's a really, I think I got paint all over my face. It's a really great, um, it's a really great thing to do for somebody who has everything. So you can make something. So this in an ideal world would be dry all the way, but I'm just trying to do it a little faster since y'all are on here. And then I'm just going to take some colors that are... I want them contrasting, but I don't want them too contrasting because I need to be able to put the words on top, okay? And y'all have given me many quotes to go from, from I'm a crier to, okay, y'all, I have some more to say, and then I go <laughs> So y'all are cracking me up. Okay, those of y'all that are new, let me know that you're new. Let me know if you have questions. Um, let's see, we have, I took the plunge. I, you signed up for a year because I wanted to do, oh, she signed up for a year. Awesome. Yay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. If you sign up for the year, you get a month free. I don't think it says that, but if you do the math, you get a month free if you sign up for the whole year. And then if not, you can just pay monthly. Um, let's see. Pray, paint, repeat. Yes. I love my pray, paint, repeat. Um, is there a camper painting? I am new to Paint Party. I'm a new member. Yes, Tina. Um, we have a camper painting. We have, hold on, hold your, close yours. Um, what is this stuck on? Oh, there's a camper. It just fell. Look, here's one of the campers. I mean, you can do it, you can do it in Canvas too, but this is just one that I, I taught last year, but you could do it in Canvas. Um, and remember, guys, the doors close um, tomorrow night at midnight, and you literally have, um, you'll have the painted prayers, so the five-day challenge. You'll get the paint party business planner. Um, when I do the tutorials, I don't bang the paint. 
I don't think I do. Do I? Those of y'all watch on the stores. Um, so you'll get the, bank, the Paint Party Business Planner. You can print it off and start using it right away. Um, or you will have access to buy a hard copy. Now, I am not giving you know, just anybody access to buy the hard copy. So you have to be a member. It's exclusively for people in Paint Party headquarters. Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my mind if I can't get these paints open. Because I have to use this 24 karat gold. It's very important to this painting. Okay, let's see if there's any questions while I'm doing this. It's awesome to have a great backup. Um, Deanna says, Paint Party Headquarters Sister, I'm here. I always seem to get the time wrong <laughs> sprinkling the love from California. Thank y'all so much for sprinkling the love. Um, oh, guess what? <laughs> Dang it, I said it. I promised myself I wouldn't say it anymore. I am so sick of guess what? That is not going to be a quote of mine. It will not be. Don't, don't, oh yes, I got this. Okay. I got the paint open, finally. I'm so sorry for that. Um, okay, so you can use like a sponge. Um, you could use a makeup sponge. You could use an actual stencil thing. I just honestly am not that organized. So I end up just grabbing whatever I have. And then you can take it and you don't have to do just the gold. I'm gonna start with the 24 karat gold and then just kind of blend out with some other colors, okay? Let me tilt y'all down just a hair so that you can, and then at the end, guys, I'm going to pick one person to mail something fun to, and um, those of y'all that are sprinkling the love, and those of y'all that are commenting, so I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, um, and then also, those of y'all that are new to me, and you're like, been thinking about teaching paint parties, and you're not really sure how to get started, all of those things. Guys, tomorrow the doors close, and the reason they close, and I don't just keep this as like an open season forever, is because I really, I put all my energy and effort, when I'm putting all my energy and effort to helping those women, like that's where it goes. And so, when I do this from Sunday through Thursday, like my voice is starting to go, I'm exhausted, like it takes it takes a lot out of a person <laughs> to do a lot of live videos. If you've if you've ever done a Facebook Live, let me know in the comments. Um, but when you're on a Facebook Live for, you know, sometimes I'm on it for a long time, and it takes a lot, a lot of energy and a lot of effort. So um, I open the doors for like five days, and that's it. So they close tomorrow night. So make sure if you're wanting in, you get in now. Um, let's see. Sylvie says, hi, I finally got signed up about 1.30 a.m., you stay up late. Um, getting ready to go. Getting ready to go for a cat, a smile, and a prayer. I don't understand your emoji talk. <laughs> is that what that is? Getting ready to go for me. Get. Am I reading that right? I'm not really sure what that means, but yay! <laughs> it sounds fun. Um, let's see, we have Deborah signed up two days ago. Welcome, Deborah. Thank y'all for your patience. We're gonna get everybody in there on Friday. Your job right now is like an Easter egg hunt. You have to find Heidi's email um, because it's probably in spam and it's probably in promo folder. So if you have paid, remember, it, has, it automatically sends to you and it always goes to spam. I don't know why it does that to us. It just makes me so frustrated. But um, just know that you probably got to go search for it um, and that me and Brendan and we have two other people on our team that are, you know, frantically trying to help and get everybody where they need to be. And then on Monday, you're all going to be assigned. So these wonderful, before we opened the doors this week, we had already 420 members. Well, those 420 members, we have about 30 something of those that have volunteered to hold your hand for two weeks and basically kind of help you get situated because we know how it is coming into something new. You can get overwhelmed really fast. So on Monday, um, these mentors are gonna be reaching out to you to kind of help make sure you get these three main things done. And then um, we're really gonna help you kind of get going in the right direction because we just don't want anybody to feel like they're lost. You know, that's the, that's the hardest thing. And um, Cassandra says, I'm a new member and the videos are jam packed with info. I'm totally digging it. I'm excited to have my hands in this cookie jar of fun art. That is a fun little thing to say. I love that. Um, hey, Yesenia. <laughs> Aunt B 
Heidi says, Heidi says, listen guys, y'all need to listen. I can only tell y'all, you have to meet me halfway. This works, just do what I'm telling you. <laughs> that is a true quote. I'm actually told it be that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I tell, I'm like, I, I can only tell y'all so much if you don't listen to what I'm saying. I mean, it works when you do what I say, you know? I don't know, like, I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. I hope you know that, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, Sherry. I think that was Sherry or Shelly that did not like me using my teeth. I'm so sorry. Um, Y'all have me laughing today. I needed a good, I needed a good laugh. Um, okay, so the other person says, um, Oh, yes, I love the painted prayer so much. Yeah, you will have access when you get into the group on Friday. And there's a whole section of all five days of the painted prayers. And I, I walk you through step by step. And the coolest thing about the painted prayers is that um, you will see you can go crazy. I mean, like, seriously, you could go crazy doing anything you want. Um, Aunt B says, yes, Heidi loves to talk. My husband even says so. Yeah, I'm a talker. I am definitely an overshare. I'm not going to lie. Um, you probably will kind of like, be like, okay, Heidi, that's enough. You don't need to share anymore. That's enough. I actually um, sent a survey out to our, our group one time, and um, one of the girls was like, you can keep some things a mystery. Because, <laughs> you know, my husband will be walking by, and I'm like, why are you in your underwear? You know, and, and I tend to overshare. I do. I, I apologize. Um, let's see. Um... Your planner is amazing. Oh, Rachel, she already got into the planner. She says, your planner is amazing. I printed it out last night and made my planner. I love it. That is awesome. So that planner, guys, um, that was made out of a need for me. Like, there's nobody selling them. There's nobody selling a designated paint party business planner. So I actually created that out of a need that I was writing stuff down all over the place because, as you know, as creatives, we write crap everywhere, right? And um, and I, you know, made that out of a need because I had all these things I really wanted together and could not, um, I just, there wasn't a planner out there at Michael's or whatever that really had what we needed as paint party um, people. So, um, so yeah, so you'll get access to that. I think that one comes immediate. Um, if not on Friday, you'll be able to go straight to it. Okay, any questions? Oh, and I did want to tell y'all some really great news. So one of our girls in Paint Party headquarters, she did a live today or yesterday. I was watching it, and um, and she said, she said that she, you know, she's moved to a new town. So some of y'all I know that's a, a concern. You're like, well, I'm new. You know, I'm in a new town or whatever, a new location. She moved to a new town, and she said that um, she was she had just gotten like a part time job at Hobby Lobby. And then she um, was standing there, like, I think it was at a brewery or somewhere, but she ended up talking to the owner of the brewery, who was talking to the owner of a winery. So she ended up, like, she got some courage, and she, you know, talked to them about doing some paint parties there, and they were so excited. So here she is in a new town, just got a part-time job at Hobby Lobby, in addition to booked for a brewery and a winery. And then she said, I guess she got so excited, she ended up booking another brewery. And um, because that's the thing, like guys, I was talking about earlier, you're not just gonna get confidence. Confidence doesn't just like, you wake up one day and all of a sudden you're confident. That's not how it works. Confidence comes by doing, you know, by taking action when you're terrified. And so um, when she was saying her life, she was like, I just had the best day. and. And I was so excited for her, you know, because she's had, she's had some hard days. And so to her, you know, for her to have these wins um, and three, four, really, and two breweries, a winery booked and um, a new part-time job, like I was just so, so happy for her. So there's so many, so many different things that you can do if you just kind of get the courage to do it. And um, okay, yes, 24 karat gold metallic. If you do not own this paint, you are missing out. It's a deco art product, Americana Decor and um, Metallic Gold, and it's the 24 karat gold one. So, okay, so here's the stencil. I'm just putting this in the middle, and then I'm gonna do some bubble wrap. So it kinda, 
has a little bit of an edge on it because I did it while it was still wet, but I don't care really too much because I'm going to be doing a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so let me grab, oh, that's going to leave a mark. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is some bubble wrap. So if you've never used bubble wrap, you can use leaves, you can use sticks, you can use palette. Ooh, I should get my palette knife. Um, that would be really fun on this. But really, it's just about playing. It's really just about playing, experimenting with the colors. Um, this is really the color I wanted right here. I'm really sad that's not opening. Um, let me see if I can get this color to open. Um, but it's really just about playing with the colors and getting them all on there. Um, let's see. Kim says, funny you were showing that camper. My party Friday has changed to a camping paint party. The first group that I made sit through, my first group that I'm making sit through is also a group of family and friends that camp together all the time. Maybe that's what we should paint. And um, yeah, Kim, um, we also have another camper that is not Christmas. <gasps> Yay! It's open. Um, that's not Christmas that you could um, use. And guys, when you're a member of Paint Party Headquarters, um, you are going to have access. Like, you will, on Friday, you're going to have access to, you know, basically a, almost a year and a half's worth of paintings. Because I give you a tutorial every single month in addition to um, a marketing hack, a, a social media hack. And I always have a bonus. And usually I have guests come on. We have um, Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornment Decor. We have Christy Hawkins from The Social Easel, both friends of mine. We have Brandy Bracy. She does a lot of business stuff. I have her doing like a, um, I think she did a full on Canva tutorial for your marketing. Um, Ashley Reyes is really awesome. I have her on there. I mean, there's just so many. Casey Hope. Um, so many people that have done um, tutorials and trainings in there. Jennifer Chamberlain. Um, yeah, I'm name dropping because it's awesome. <laughs> because Paint Party Headquarters is awesome. And um, we have so many. So what I'm trying to tell you is it's not just like, this is Heidi's art and that's all you're going to get. No, I'm constantly working with people that are out there doing awesome things to make sure we get the best trainings possible. So it's not just all my style. So you're getting a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, so when you get in there, I'm just putting this, this kind of bluish metallic and I'm just going to dab it and then just start kind of dabbing it onto my onto my um, canvas. But when you get in there, you're going to have access to a year, almost a year and a half of tutorials. We have them all, um, you know, separated by, by season, all of these things. And then the other thing is really cool that I didn't even realize would happen is, you know, we have women all over the world in Paint Party Headquarters. These are not just like everybody's at the beginning stages. These are women that are, you know, awesome artists, whether they've started their paint party business or not. And these are women that some are already doing paint parties. We have some that already own studios, which I'm going to be very clear with you. Um, I teach the mobile. I don't, I don't try to ever encourage you to go open a studio because I personally, I'm not, I'm not that model. I teach you how to always stay mobile. So if you need to move, if you want to travel and do a traveling paint party, whatever the case is, you can always do it with you, bring it with you. And so I just want people to know right up front, like I don't teach the, the um, actual building model. I teach the, the mobile paint party and that's how I've made my living for several years and continue. I'll be at a paint party tomorrow night. It's an hour and a half from my house. So um, that's how I teach you. But there's so, so many things. And the coolest thing I never even expected was all of these women who are super talented all over the world. We call it the collective wisdom of the Paint Party Headquarters ladies. They are sharing their designs. It's crazy. Like, out of respect, you want to make sure you ask. But, you know, they'll, like, take something of mine and they'll tweak it or they'll change it up. And then we all just kind of, like, work together. And um, another thing I want to just make sure you know up front. So, this is not... If you're a mean girl, this ain't the place for you. If you're a, like a negative Nelly, I'm telling you, this is not going to be the place for you because um, I don't put up with that. These women, we are like a praying group of women that put God first in our business. And um, I'm just doing some, some dotting. So if you're wondering, <laughs> and so we're a praying group of women that put God first, you know, first in our business. And, um, 
and it's all, I mean, there are ups and downs, you know, this business isn't all, you know, cupcakes and balloons all the time, right? It's, there's seriously like things that, you know, happen in our life and we go through hard times, but we're there to support each other. So we're going to have times when a party cancels. We're going to have times when, you know, oh my gosh, that, that didn't work out so well, or what did I do wrong? What do I need to do better? And, um, and that's where I can really, really help you navigate because I've been through all of it. All of it. All the ups and downs. I'm finally here where I understand that if a party cancels, it's not the end of the world, right? So um, so it's not a place for mean girls. So if you're a person, you know, I usually will message you privately if, you know, you're not being, you know, nice in the group. And then um, after that, if it, if it happens again, I, I just can't, I just cancel and give you a refund and, and we call it a day. And um, another little thing I want to tell you about Paint Party Headquarters. And um, if you're a person who you want to just come in and kick tires and cancel after one month and then you think you have rights to all the designs for the rest of your life, don't be that person, okay? And um, I don't even have to police it. People message me and say, hey, she's not a member anymore and I see her doing an event with your vintage Santa. Like, People police it for me. I don't even have to do it. So, um, so just know, as a paying member, you have access. And I over, over give. I promise you, I am an over sharer and over giver, and I really do over give. But you know, if you quit Paint Party Headquarters, which you know, I know we all have our own paths and we're all coming and going as we need to. But um, just know that you just can't get back in whenever you can. You have to wait until the doors open again. And the other thing is, is it's kind of like the YMCA. Like if you quit the YMCA, you don't get to take the Zumba instructor with you or the treadmill, right? When you're a member of the YMCA, you have access to all those benefits. But when you cancel, you don't have access anymore. So same thing here. You know, when you're a member, you're going to have access to, you know, that beautiful snowman that everybody is asking to use. I cannot tell you all how many people are trying to get access. And this is a guest artist, Terry Minton, that did it on a really small board and I've just kind of taken it and made it big and then I've kind of taken it and put it on canvas and on wood door hangers and it's been a huge hit. Um, but guys, you know, when you're in it, remember it's, it's $35 a month. So if you do one person a month, you're paying for that and it's a business write off. So just know that, um, just know that, you know, it's totally worth the amount you're investing. But, you know, if you do decide to quit, don't think that, like, you have rights for everything, you know, that because you were in there for two months or whatever. That's that's not how it works. Um, and you want to be the customer that you want the customers to be for you. Like, always remember that. Um, because everything always comes back. You know, I mean, I, it just does. Like, um, you know, when I'm at my paint parties, like, I let them use my paint as they want. Like, I let them have fun and create and, and go crazy and... Um, and, you know, I told a, a girl one time, I said, she was so worried about them spent, you know, using just too much paint, like a little bit too much paint. And I'm like, you are tripping over pennies to make dollars. Like, seriously, if you're charging the right amount for your paint parties, you wouldn't care. If you're charging $35, $40, $45 a person, you're not going to care if they took all this metallic and went crazy because this cost you a dollar, you know, or a dollar fifty or whatever. So let's see. And Deborah says, so glad that I found this group. Been praying for you in this group and God's answers prayers. Oh, thank you. And um, thank you loud. I'm like, you know, using my hands a lot. I don't know why. It's like Talladega Nights. I don't really know what to do with my hands. Um, but, you know, you got to up it up or it's going to sound like you're just not really sure. What's going on. <laughs> it's going to be very, very boring. Um, oh, hi, Christy. I was just talking about Christy from the Social Easel. Um, let's see, Debbie. Yeah, um, Christy is awesome. She actually, we have teamed up a few times. She has a painting membership. So any of y'all that are like, you want to learn about the business, and you want to go crazy on the business, and then you also want to have extra paintings, guys, I think her doors are open right now until um, tonight. I think her doors close tonight. But she gives you three paintings a month, and she teaches, that's what she does. She teaches you how to do the paintings, and um, her paintings are awesome. So we've teamed up for a, a few things, and we're going to team up next year for another one. But she is um, very, very talented. She's, like, really good at painting, and I love, love her stuff. And um, it's funny because I'm like, I would totally join your um 
your, I think she calls it the inner tribe. I was like, Christy, I would totally join your inner tribe on the social easel. But I said, every time I painted one of your paintings, somebody would think that it was a paint party headquarters and they would just go for it. Because um, the girls know, like, you know, if I just paint something, I usually just give them rights. You know, even if I don't have the tutorial, I'll say, yeah, how about it if you want it, you know? And so it's like, I want to be in her group so bad because I, you know, her paintings sell like crazy. Um, but I can't because um, if I post it, then I know that, you know, everybody in Paint Party Headquarters would think that it was one of ours. So, um, Christy, hopefully some of these girls, I would totally be in it if I could. So those of y'all that are needing some more paintings or just want to learn more painting skills, make sure you check her out. Um, let's see. Aww. Aunt B says, one of the best decisions I made, don't delay. And Kimberly says, courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. John Wayne, I love that. That would be a great one for a um, painted prayer. That'd be really good. Um, let's see. Oh, Heidi is the best. Godly teach in the whole wide world. Brenda, you're gonna make me cry. Now my, my quote's happening. You're gonna make me cry. I'm gonna cry, don't make me cry. Um, Rachel says, Heidi, question. Do you tell us in paint party headquarters about how many ounces of paint you will need for each project. I'm trying to get ready to book a party, but I'm stumped on how much paint I will need for 10 painters. So here's how, here's like kind of, I mean, it's not, it's not like a real fancy way. I mean, you probably want to hear more of a fancy way of how I do it, but here's how I do it. So if I'm painting, let's say, let's say this is going to be one of the paintings. Let's say I'm gonna teach this for a fall design, right? This is one of the ones I taught last year a lot. Um, let's say I'm gonna teach this for a fall design. What I would do is as I'm painting it, so like when you're painting the tutorial with me, which you know you get rights to it, so you could just take it, use the stuff, and then go ahead and paint it. Once you paint it, as you're painting it, notice. So like if you have the green out, how much did you put dime size? Did you put quarter size? About how much did you put out? So I always, always, always bring extra. So no matter what's going on, please bring extra because you just never know. So let's say, you know, I only used a dime size. This whole bottle would do for, for the green, right? But I'm gonna bring at least three of these because I just wanna make sure. Um, I have been in several positions where I've ran out of paint um, because, you know, I've had some really massive parties and we did some sunflowers one time and I mean, I was like seriously running out of yellow, which is a very bad thing to do when you're teaching a sunflower painting. And um, so I've had some panic moments myself. So I just like, I've already packed my car for tomorrow's painting um, because I knew I'd be doing this and Pixie and Bobby were home earlier and I was like, hey, let's pack the car. Let's have fun bonding, family bonding. And so we all packed the car. And, um, and with that though, I, um, I'll still tonight, I'll grab a bag and I'll just put in pretty much everything again. Um, and I know that's overkill. So like when you're first starting, you don't need to do that. And um, I would just buy, like if you know you need one of those because you only need this much for each person, I'd buy three of those. Um, because it's, I just, I overkill it because I just really, I wanna make sure I have enough because I've, I've ran out a lot of times and I want to make sure that um, if the, the girls want to, you know, get crazy and do whatever they want, I, you know, I can let them. So that's, that's totally up to you. Where did my questions go? And I'm just adding, can y'all see this okay? And I'm about to announce the winner of the sprinkling the love slash commenting. And then again, those of y'all that are on the fence about Paint Party Headquarters, ask me your questions. I am here. Um, what is what is making you think, eh, I'm not really sure. Um, go ahead and ask me, I'm gonna look. Okay, let's see. Amy says, just joined you, love that your design and used fear is a liar quote today. It made me want to paint a prayer for my friend. Yes, so I have fear is a liar in my office and that's one of my favorites. Um, plus it makes me sing that song when I read it. Like, I just, I love that song. Um, Oh, Terry, she says, Paint Party Headquarters is going to change my life. Guys, I'm telling you, there is so, paint parties have changed my life, like totally changed my life. I've seen it like really help people in their lives and their just, you know, whether they're wanting to just have 
fun, like doing extra things, um, finances, all of that kind of stuff. And Angie says, is there any way to sign up Friday? I don't get paid till Friday. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, um, if you get direct deposit at midnight, it might still be like going right at midnight. So I know you probably don't want to stay up till midnight, but that may be a little bit of a workaround. Um, Deanna says, we have a studio and we are mobile too. And paint party headquarters is still very relevant for us. Yeah, that's so true. I have so many um, people that, you know, they might have had a studio. I had a message last night, late last night, and a lady said they um, had a studio and she ended up having to close it and they, had, they unfortunately had lost a lot of money with it. But she started doing mobile parties again and fell in love with it again and started making, you know, a, a profit because you can make a big profit by doing mobile parties. Um, so yeah, so you know, even if you have a studio, I strongly suggest you go mobile too. Um, let's see, some that are looking for meet and greets with like-minded sisters. Love the idea of painted prayer. Sometimes painting is like praying or a form of meditation, therapy for sure. And um, Denise, yeah, and um, when I'm like not talking to y'all in a Facebook Live, like, I can have my music cranked up. I can have, you know, a podcast on. I mean, it could literally be a form of worship. You know, like, we're all given, you know, different talents. Um, although I, I love to sing, my talent is not singing. Pixies is, but my talent is not singing. So, um, so I just love, like, being able to create and not have to think about things. Um, can anybody tell me what time it is? I have... Um, I have to jump off here at a certain time to go live on another page, so I just want to make sure I'm not um, going out. Okay, so if we create our own design, is there someone that could look at it for us and help us tweak it if it needs a little work? Tina, 600 plus women will help you tweak it. It's insane. You can post like, hey, what, what looks off here? And we're all going to chime in. Yes, definitely. Um, hey, Julie. Hey, Tracy. Um, Delana says, everyone will give you constructive criticism. Yes, helpful. Yeah, people are nice. Like, that's what I'm saying. We're not going to be like, oh, that painting sucks. Like, no, we're going to help you. And how does everyone come up with a business name? Kim, great question. I have a full training on how to come up with a business name in Paint Party Headquarters. And then what I recommend is after you take, it's like a 10-minute exercise that you need to do, and then I want you to sleep on it, and then you're going to give us the top three names that you think, and then we'll help you narrow it down from there. Um, yeah, I give tips on that too. Hello, Noelle. Um, Melissa's on here. Hi, Maribel. Hey, came late. Oh, that's okay. Um, let's see. My battery is about to go out, and let's see what time it is. <gasps> I was like, 8.34. Oh, no, I'm late. Okay, 7. There. Okay, good. Whew. I got to be on um, another page at 8, so I was curious. Um, can you hold your pickup? Okay, so it's, sh it's in the works. And what I'll end up doing is I'll keep adding. Oh, Deanna, thank you. She says, Paint Party Headquarters has changed my business immensely. Um, so do you have stencils for the words for your painted prayer, or do people freehand them? Okay, so here's what I do. There are many, many options, okay? And I'm about to pick the winner. I'll go ahead and answer that question, then I'm going to pick the winner. And then if you have more questions... Guys, I'm going to be coming to y'all live from a paint party tomorrow, um, but tomorrow is the last day. I just really want to stress to y'all that if you are um, kind of sort of thinking about this, like seriously jump in because what will happen is the doors close tomorrow night at midnight and then we, um, we shift gears. We shift gears helping everyone. So I'm going to, and you're going to get the, the planner with it too. You're going to get tons of bonuses plus the five and five day challenge of the painted prayer um, all kind, I mean, there's so much. I don't want to overwhelm you by telling you all of it, but there's so much. But my, my goal for you is to get, you know, if you're here, whether you're a hopeful artist, which means you're just starting to think about art, you're just starting to think about painting, um, going to the dreaming artist, thinking about maybe like what's your life going to be like, you know, creating your own schedule, to the confident artist, you're that person now that's like giving away everything for free just because you want to paint. And um, to the techie artist, you're starting to do Facebook Lives like Terry's doing, and you're starting to um, do you know more things online. And you're starting to be really more confident about that. Um, all the way to stage five to money making artist. Now, when you get to stage five and you're money making artist, my goal as you being a part of, sorry, 
My goal for you as being a part of Paint Party Headquarters is to be consistently doing this, to learn how when January comes, you're not like, oh my gosh, I spent all my money I made during the good season and I don't know how to recoup, recoup from that, right? My goal is to help you like get through those humps and have other things going. And then I've anticipated, because I've had tons of questions, like what happens next? What happens whenever I'm, you know, teaching paint parties consistently? Like, what if I want to start doing something online? What if I want to start doing something that? And there's something coming um, soon in January, so look for that coming in January. Um, but there's so, so much coming um, to you in Paint Party Headquarters. Um, like I said, we have you covered everywhere. Like, it's literally like marketing hacks, social media hacks, all of that. Um, and there was a question I was answering, and I got distracted. Hold on, did my phone turn off? Hold on. Oh, the stencils, Rachel, let me answer your question. Um, so the stencils for the painted prayers, so do you have people freehand them? Okay, you can do a couple of things. You can either print out the design. So like obviously, I mean, I have done a paint party with this size canvas. I don't recommend it. There's there's not enough room. Um, unless you charge $125, you're not gonna make a profit. However, if you do like the 16 by 20, you can print a bunch of painted prayers and then you can use black carbon paper and you can trace them. If you're not sure how to do that, I did the snowman yesterday and showed exactly how to do it so you can see it. Also, um, you don't have to have a vinyl cutter, but if you do have a vinyl cutter, um, what I do is whenever I book a painted prayer, I'll get everybody's prayers and then I actually cut it in the vinyl cutter so I have it ready for them. So um, that's an extra step. You don't have to do that, but that's an option. Um, Freehanding is okay, but I don't really recommend it. I would rather see you print it on a piece of paper and then have them use black carbon copy, trace it, and then use a paint pen on top. Um, that's way better than doing it as just freehand. Okay, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a winner. I'm gonna be sending one of you happy mail. So when I say your name, make sure that you um, message me your address, okay? And um, the winner tonight is Kelsey Henderson. Kelsey Henderson. Um, oh, and she says, love those colors. I had a blast binging the backstage pass videos. I must have spent an hour on Deco Art site today. <laughs> yes, this right here is the best paint in the world. 24 karat, it's not really, you know, 24 karat gold. Um, but it is so much fun to use and it's a really good thickness so like you know when I do a stencil over darker colors it really works so everybody tell Kelsey congratulations all of y'all thank you so so much for being a part Kelsey give me a little time on the shipping and um, and please forgive me for it looking like a two-year-old because that's usually how I pack it and then um, everybody else and um, make sure you join and um, you have until tomorrow night at midnight. You gotta make a decision, y'all. Like, like Brenda said, my quote, I can only meet you so far, then you have to make a decision. So I wanna help you um, and just think of it like a Christmas present for your business every month. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.